Hello friends, welcome to Big Deno Plays Kingdom Death. We're on to Lantern Year 19. It's very exciting. We're about to face off against a level 3 tyrant for the first time. Uh, I just saw his legendary cards. Let's hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> Here he is. Here's the big fella. Look at him go. Rawr, what a legend. Um, we've got... Uh, We've got a few things to do. Um, first of all, however, we are going to immediately depart because we have a story event that we have to do. Um, I'll explain the story event in a second. So, departing survivors gain six survival and three insanity. So that's great. Now, if any departing survivor has 10 insanity, they do. We immediately do a gracious host. A gracious host. Blah, 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 blah. The worm's whispers overwhelm you, compelling you to consume it. Eat the worm, yes. <laughs> um, this little this little worm is just like capturing your mind. Uh, so nominate the survive with the highest insanity to ingest the mountain. Will ingest. Uh, so what we ideally want to see... Do we have Sacrifice, actually? I don't think we do. No. So we ideally want to see a 7 plus here. We just don't want to see a 1 or a 2. Um, for the mountain. So... 3 is okay. 3 plus is okay. A 5. Uh, great. So we don't eat the Parasite. But... We sort of do want to eat it. <laughs> so hopefully we'll eat it soon. <laughs> All right. Unlucky. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. That's good. It means we get uh, we get the benefits of the parasite next, or the, the knowledge worm innovation next year. So that's cool. All right. So uh, all departing survivors, we've reached the start of the showdown. It gains three survival. And one, two, three. That's fantastic. So plenty of survival on everyone, which is awesome. So let's go through our survivors really quickly. So Alaria, um, she's actually rocking uh, an evasion set and she's using the Necromancer's Eye. So she's just gonna try and stay safe, um, have nothing bad happen to her and everything will be A-OK. -okay. Uh, the Mountain, he's our main, one of our main damage dealers. Um, but we've also got him on backup duty of smashing gates because he's got the Thunder Maul. It's actually a pretty good item to smash gates with because it's a club. Um, Yara, she is uh, our probably our, our true main damage dealer uh, with the Beacon Shield um, and the uh, Inkblood Bow. She's uh, going to be doing some severe damage, I hope. And finally, Strong Bellwass. Uh, has a backup Skleaver to also pop things, um, and the Hunter's Whip to hopefully remove some moods if we need to. So uh, let us commence this card setup. So our four survivors are placed two squares away from the bad boy. Boom, 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 and boom. We have one random terrain card. We go first. Uh, let's... Let's get our random terrain card out. Sort of would be okay with anything really. Um, grass is always good. Stone face might not be too bad, just to increase the accuracy of that bow. Um, acanthus plants is terrible. Don't want acanthus plants. Great. All right, well, uh, we're all good to go. So let's commence this thing. So I'm excited we've got the Necromancer's Eye now because it's a really good item um, when you've got three speed attackers, which we do. Uh, there's eight of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's 12 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 
Both of these bad boys are in there. Okay, well, uh, we've got some gates. It's going to be terrible. All right, so we go first. Okay, we're going to start. I'll just double check everything's good. Yep, plenty of evasion on those two. Uh, okay, so Ilaria is going to start by spending a surge. Does she gain her survival back? She does. With that surge, she's going to use the Necromancer's Eye. One, two, three. We have a first strike. We have a Celestial Resonator and we have Celestial Robes. Great. So, who do we want to do that Celestial Trial? Who are we trying to get understanding? Belwas. Yeah, if Belwas gets nine understanding, that'd be okay. Uh, he's got the Skleaver. Reincarnated, does that help? He's already got it. Cool. Does the mountain, does Ilaria know? Yara, does reincarnated help you? Not really, okay. Well, let's do that one. This one is zero at the moment. So that's okay. And that's a wound. Oh, we've actually get, we get four now because of the necromancer's eye. Awesome, all right. Got to remember that. Nice. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so Yara is going to move one, two, three, four, five. Uh, no, she's not going to move yet. She's going to do as a surge. Okay, so let's do the Skleaver on Strong Belwas. One, two, three, four, five. So Strong Belwas has no accuracy. The Skleaver is 5 plus, it goes to 4 plus in the rear. Belwas! That's a hit. We know it is this trial. Um, he suffers minus 1 strength, so he's got 2 dragon traits. So he suffers minus 2 strength. The Skleaver is strength 10. So he is just looking for a 4 plus to wound. Go, Skleaver! That's a wound. So we do that wound. Uh, he gains one understanding in the reincarnated surname. That reminds me, I do have age and everything to do on all of those other survivors that I didn't do. I'll do that when we get back this time. It's not going to be much else because we can't innovate. We've got no hide. Um, reincarnated surname. He's already got it. He suffers three brain damage. One, two, three. Archive this hit location. Celestial Trial. Excellent. Uh, strong Belwas. He might as well surge since he's got the Skleaver. We know uh, he is good at... Oh, he gets plus one accuracy because he's got... Um, he's got Grand Weapon Proficiency. Because everyone does. If you critically wound, the monster is knocked down. Cool. Got to remember that. So he's actually hitting on a 3 plus in the rear. That is a hit. Oh, it's this one. We know the reflex is irrelevant. That is still a wound because we're not suffering the minus 2 strength this time. Um... So he performs resonate, target suffers gate brain damage. There is no gate brain damage. So suffer a wound. Was not a critical. So he's not knocked down. Awesome. Good start, strong Belwas. Um Okay. The mountain will go now. So 
He's going to go one, two, three, four, five. And he's going to swing with the regal edge. He's in the rear. He's got plus one accuracy from sword mastery. And he's got plus one strength from sword mastery. And he's got plus one speed from sword mastery. So that is one hit. We know that it is this hit location here. Can we do a wound? Seven plus six is 13 plus the regal edge is indeed a wound. That is there. Uh, and he goes to 15 wounds on the regal edge. He now performs crooked step. The tyrant steps through an unseen gate. Oh, she's here. Uh, place a gate in the monster's current spaces. Boop, boop. He then uh, moves six spaces away from the survivor furthest from it. So I'm going to go here. One, two, three, four, five, six. As far from other survivors as possible. He's down this end, hanging out there. Great. But we did do a wound. Okay, so we're going to do... Um, Ilaria. No, we're going to do... Uh, should we do Ilaria? Yeah, we will do Ilaria's turn now. So she's going to go one, two, three, four, five. Um, and she's going to use her Necromancer's Eye. One, two, three, four. Awesome. Celestial Trial. First strike. Reflex, 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 wound, wound. Okay. Uh, do you want to get understanding Yara? You do. All right. Well, we'll keep that one in play. Resonates fine. Wound, crooked step. Okay, cool. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, so that's her action done. We're now going to spend a, a survival. Uh, sorry, I'm not going to spend a survival. We're going to spend sweet battle from uh, the mountain to smash that gate with his thunder maul. So he's got the club keyword, so he can roll that. He gets a five. You fail to accomplish anything. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Cool. And now we're going to shoot with Yara. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, shooting with the ink blood bow, it's a seven. That's one hit. We'll reroll that one. One hit. It's a celestial trial. Uh, she's going to suffer minus four strength, which is going to take her down to a base strength of three, plus the bow takes her to 11, which means she needs to uh, roll a three. Delightful. So Yara gains the reincarnated surname, one understanding. And we archive that hit location, and she also suffers three brain damage. One, two, three. And that does a wound. Boom. Uh, she is then going to surge. This is the last action of the turn. Uh, so she's just going to um, fling the claw head arrow at him. Uh, that's a hit for the first time. <laughs> for the longest time. Um, okay, strength 7 plus 6 for the claw head arrow is 13, so it's anything but... Oh, you dickhead. <laughs> Why did you do this to me? But he does suffer the minus 1 evasion. Alright, that's good. That is good. Minus 1 evasion helps. Alright, 
So it's the end of our turn. Where's our evasion tokens? There, minus one evasion. End of our turn. So we're on to the next round. So all survival actions reset now, I believe. Um, does this let you change the order? No. Okay, cool. So. The monster goes first at the, uh, yep. Just seeing there's one gate on the board, end of each monster turn, yep. And we didn't do a wound, okay, cool. So monster AI card it is. Oh my God, <laughs> why is it that card? Why did the claw head arrow not hit? <laughs> okay, when this comes into play, perform basic action. If it's eight plus, everyone dies. All right, well, we're just on gate smashing duty then. Has to happen. Basic action. Oh, that's awful. A random threat in play. It's not even a, it's not even a trait, so you can't even get rid of it. A random threat in range. Uh, so he's speed seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can't get into range of anyone, so it has to be her. So he moves into range with Yara. One, two, three. He's into range with Yara. It's a four speed attack. Its accuracy is three plus, so it's hitting on a four plus. Uh, two hits. Uh, it's damage four. Head and hand, uh, we'll dodge the head. One, two, three, four. And she suffers bash. She's knocked down. He now performs crooked step. So crooked step is place a gate tile. Place the monster six spaces away from the survivors furthest from it. So here, one, two, one, two, three. Better off going like here, actually. Yep. And uh, he places a gate tile where he was, which is here. And then at the end of his turn, he makes a gate. Okay. So it's gate smashing time. <laughs> Let's start with, at least it's a one wound out of his deck. So I think that's everything, yep. All right, we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a surge from the mountain, starting off with the uh, Thunder Maul to smash the gate in front of him. He rolls a three, he fails to accomplish anything. Can you seriously not do that, mate? <laughs> um, we'll surge with Strong Belwas, and he's gonna use his um, Skleaver. There we go. 17. The gate explodes. Gain one survival. And place your survivor adjacent to the monster. He's going to go here. So we know what the hit location is. So that's fine. So Strong Bellwass is then going to take his act. And he's going to uh, hit the monster. So he is uh, using the Skleaver. Uh, I'll just get rid of that because I don't need that. So his accuracy uh, plus one because he's got Skleaver specialization. And he's also plus one accuracy from the evasion token. So that's a hit. We know it's this hit location here. Uh, we could potentially get plus one permanent strength here if we quit. If we crit, there is no uh, luck in play. So it's just a two plus the wound. That's a wound with the Skleaver. He now performs Crooked Step, which is actually A-OK. -okay. So he's gonna put a gate into play here. And then he's gonna end up down here. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Okay, so 
uh, at this point, that is, he's going to move. Yeah, he's fine where he is. So we'll do uh, the mountain. He's going to take his act. One, two, three, four, five. And then he's going to dash. One, two, three, four. And he's going to smash that gate. Oh my god, he's failed to smash the gate three times. Can you stop, you idiot? <laughs> uh, Ilaria is going to go. Uh, she's going to surge. Does she gain her survival back? She doesn't. She's going to look in the hit location deck. Top four because of the Necromancer's eye. We've got two first strikes. Okay. The death blow, we want to try and keep that in play as much as we can. So we're going to do this and hope that we can do some wounds. Jeepers. All right. Um, Ilaria is going to shoot with the ink blood bow from where she is. One hit, uh, reroll. Don't forget the uh, plus one accuracy. It's still no good. So that hits. Uh, she has minus one strength. So let's see if she can wound. That is a critical wound that does absolutely nothing. Take a wound, you joker. She gains the noble surname, which she's already got, and one courage. And she suffers three brain damage, and she gains a bleeding token. Archive this hit location. Um, unfortunately, we can't do much about it, so let's actually try and smash a gate with... Uh, she needs to roll 7 plus. Uh, I think we're going to do it anyway. She's going to dash Ilaria. Does she gain her survival back? She does. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And she's going to smash that gate. And if she smashes the gate when the fucking idiot's been using the Thunderball, of course she smashes the gate! <laughs> <laughs> That's our turn. On to the next round. What an idiot. <laughs> Alright, Tyrant. Uh, he's going to do Blistering Star. Uh, target a random survivor. Okay, well, we definitely want to try and clear that mood, so we'll probably do that. Uh, when this comes into play, perform basic action. A random threat in range, there is three. We've got Alaria, we've got uh, the Mountain, and we've got Yara. So one, two, three, it's uh, Alaria. Four, five, six, it's the Mountain. So it's Alaria. That's actually good, because she's evasion seven. So he's hitting on nines for these. So that's no hits, which is great. Uh... At the end of his turn, uh, sorry, at the end of that, he's going to perform Crooked Step. So he goes there, and he goes all the way over here. And then he's going to do another gate. There. Okay, so there's lots of gates on the board. That is decidedly suboptimal. Um, because we... We can't afford to have <laughs> we cannot afford to have gates in play. Okay, well the good news is that the mountain is gonna go. He's gonna go one, two, three, four, five into position here. His first act is gonna be to smash a gate. Come on, Tywin. Oh my god. Can you smash a fucking gate for once in your life? And then he'll use sweet battle to surge. Thank you for finally smashing a gate, you knob end. <laughs> Gain a survival. Place him adjacent to the monster. Jeepers, that is awful. Uh, all right, well, uh, we're gonna dash. Uh, the mountains used his surge. Man, that's so annoying. We're gonna dash and surge with a uh, Skleaver guy. 
So his dash is going to put him to here, where he's going to smash that gate with his surge. So he smashes the gate, gains a survival, and then he's going to teleport. We're going to put him in the blind spot. He's going to swing with the Skleaver. He hits. We know it's this hit location. Uh, so, strong Belwas. He now has two constellations. Come on, Belwas. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Yeah. He gains one permanent strength and a scar and a bleeding token. And we archive this hit location. Go away. Okay. So, we sort of need him to come closer to us, don't we? Uh, Alright, well we're going to go here. One, two, three. And we're going to bash that with the beacon shield. Which is also heavy. A six. Suffer bash and three damage to three hit locations. Archive the terrain tile. Hand, boot, head. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Not great. Uh, so done, done, uh, done. Ilaria. One, two, three, four, five. Let's use this again. We know the death blow is in there. Let's get that one up there. Cool. All right, that's the end of our turn. So there is not two things in play, so he does not do Blistering Star. There is not eight in play, so he does not do Harvester Incantation. <laughs> Fortunately. But he is going to draw his AI card and he is going to do Quaking Incantation. A basic action. The random threat in range is either uh, the mountain on a 1 to 5. So it is the mountain. So he's going to move to here. He's going to shoot the mountain with his basic action. So this hits on a 7 plus. 4 hits. Good. Good work. He's immune to bash. That's terrible. Terrible. What do we get? Oh my god, four on the body. No. Well, we can block once. Or dodge once, sorry, I should say. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we have a critical severe injury roll. Seven on the body is. Don't you dare be. Cannot surge. Ruptured spleen. Gain two bleeding tokens. Skip the next hunt. A ruptured spleen. Awesome. Uh, now he's going to perform crooked step, which means he puts a thing down here. And then he teleports over here. And then he does that. Okay. Uh, we're going to immediately start with the mountain. He's going to smash that thing. He smashes it. Uh, he gains a survival. He's teleported to adjacent to the monster here. Uh, at that point, he will surge using Sweet Battle for free. Going to do some wounds, hopefully. Three perfect hits. Tremendous. Uh, he's only two. Well, it doesn't matter. Perfect hits don't do anything. He hits twice. He hits on a Two plus anyway, so it's two hits. He doesn't get three speed. Uh, that and that. The mountain. Uh, so he strength six. 
goes down to strength two. The regal edge is plus two. So he's starting at four. He needs a 10, but he's also got sharp. Three plus eight. You fucking legend. Gain yourself a scar, buddy. Gain yourself a permanent strength. Gain yourself a bleeding token. And while you're at it, gain yourself another wound on the regal edge. Done. Oh God, that. This one, he's anything but uh, great. <laughs> but it's actually not too bad because it means I can, um, I would have liked the wound for the regal edge, but yeah. Uh, okay, so our friend with the Sclever from Belwas, he's going to move one, two, three. I'll just do this next round. So he's done and he's used his search. Strong Belwas is having his act. He's going to hit that with the Sclever and the club. That is an eight. Gain of survival. Place your dude adjacent to the monster. Boom. Back down to two. Keep on hitting those gates, team. We can't afford to have the harvester appear. <laughs> All right, do we want to surge? Um, I think we do. With the Sclever. That is definitely a hit. It's a perfect hit, maybe. The Celestial Diadem. Uh, is anything but? That's a wound. Chipping away, chipping away. Perform crooked step. Have this here. Teleport over here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so at this point, that's their axe done. We're gonna do Alaria's turn. She's gonna go one, two, three, four, five. And she's going to have a look at these. Still no trap, my goodness. Ooh. Inverted chakras, I'd like that actually. That's a cool critical wound. Um, well, we definitely don't want the death blow on top, so let's put those two on top. Okay. Um, cool, and now we're gonna do Yara, so Yara is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, not in range. She's gonna dash. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, perfect. She's gonna shoot with the ink blood bow. That's no hits, but she gets to re-roll thanks to bow specialist. That's one hit, it's a perfect hit, which doesn't do anything, I don't think. Nope. We know it's this Celestial Resonance uh, on a Reflex. Critical wound, critical wound, sit down. They're not at five plus, we don't gain Frozen Star. Uh, yep. So that's it, I think, just double check, did. We give Strong Bellwass his proficiency point. Yara's got her proficiency point, definitely. All right. So we will end the turn. Yep. On to the next round. So unfortunately, Blistering Star does come into play. So there is two gates on the board. So at the start of the monster turn, target a random survivor. So we're going to use the app randomizer, actually, because we can. So uh, random survivor is Strong Bellwass. It's a six speed attack. It hits on a three plus. Does Strong Bellwass want to put up a block? He can't. Okay, but these damage are three damage apiece. However, we have the lion skin cloak. So uh, that is a miss. That is a miss. Uh, so he's definitely going to suffer a bleed. Um, okay, so these are doing two damage a piece. So let's see where these go. 
So we'll dodge the body. So it's going to be two damage to the hands, one, two. It's going to be two damage to the body, one, two. And it's going to be two damage to the head, one, two. He doesn't have anything negative for the head. Uh, and he gains bash, so he's knocked down. Okay, good work. Blistering Star is now discarded. We now draw an AI card, and it is... Oh my god! Oh my god, it's Mighty Incantation. Why has he got both of his legendary cards in play, Deno? Why aren't you using your AI? <laughs> AI manipulation, you peanut. Alright, when it comes into play, perform basic action. He gains plus two damage. Alright, well, at this point, what we may do is surge with the mountain. Uh, actually, let's see. Let's see what he's targeting first. So, random threat in range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, the only person he can go for is Yara. Uh, and he can't get into range of her, actually. So, what, Yara's going to dash. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So, there. Uh, so he's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. He doesn't get into range, so he doesn't do that shot. He's now going to perform Crooked Step. He's going to go here. He's going to teleport up to here. And he's going to put a thing behind him, like so. Stand up, thanks to Fist and Tooth proficiency. All right. Well, this is somewhat of an easy choice, I think. Just need to smash gates like it's going out of fashion. Uh, Alright, we'll start by doing a surge with Bellaria. To just check this situation out. One, two, three, four. There's some crooked step reflexes there. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's in range. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do the mountain. He's going to smash the gate beside him. The mountain gains a survival. He's teleported adjacent to the monster. He's then going to walk on to here. And he's going to use sweet battle for his surge. To smash another gate. Perfect. So we've stopped. Quaking incantation, which is good. Except we may have it come up again. Okay, so he's going to go under here. He's going to shoot, hit that with his cleaver. Kills that. Teleport to here. We're going to swing with the cleaver using a surge. It's on three is fine because of plus one from Grand Weapon Specialization and plus one from the Evasion. The Celestial Breastplate, uh, this isn't deadly. Was that a perfect hit? I don't think so. Crit. Oh, it's, does he got any luck? No. Have some luck, my guy. <laughs> it's a wound. Perform Crooked Step. Go. All right, we're going to uh, actually 
Yara. One, two, three, four, five. Can't get there. Uh, hmm. I don't even think it's worth doing the damage. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, plus a dash to smash that with the beacon shield. Gain a survival. Place the dude adjacent to the monster. She could surge with the beacon shield, I suppose. Yeah, we'll surge with the beacon shield. See if we can do a wound with that. Uh, hits on a six normally. In the rear five, uh, evasion token four. That's a hit. We know it's this hit location. Uh, she does have a luck, so she can crit on a nine. And she's wounding on a two. That's a wound. But he now performs crooked step. Place this here. Move himself all the way over here. Like so. Perfect. Alright, Celestial Diadem is done. We now have a Monster AI card. Uh, who's got the whip? I've got to get that whip in there with Belwas to try and clear off Quaking Almighty Incantation. Yep, alright, so AI card we get... Obsidian Barricade. He's already facing the most survivors. Place a gate terrain tile. That's really, really bad. One. Two. Three. Um, survivors that have gates placed on them suffer collision and knockback. Draw an AI card. Great. Oh, good. When this comes into play, perform basic action. Uh, the two survivors in range is uh, one to five. It's the mountain. It is the mountain. So he's going to go one, two, three, four to here. And he's going to shoot the mountain with his basic action. So that is three hits. Mountain takes three hits. Don't roll the body. We'll dodge the body. Oh. Uh, so he's going to roll head. Oh, these are terrible because these are now uh, damage equal to the number of gates. One, two, three, four, five gates. Six, seven, eight. It's eight damage a swing on these. Oh no, one, two, three, four, five, eight. One, two, three, four, five, eight. He's knocked down. It's an eight on the head. Is that blind? Concussion, gain a random disorder, gain a bleeding token. Come on! Come on! I think we're in we're in massive We've got to get that we've got to get that mighty mood off. This order he gets is stark raving. Cool. Oh. All right. Well, and now I guess what he does, he performs crooked step. It's going down here. Boom, boom. All right. Well, the only choice we've got right now is to try and clear off some of these moods with a perfect hit. The best, the only way to do that is to go with a surge with strong Belwas. Uh, who I actually wanted to use for something else this turn. To smash that gate with his Skleaver. Come on, strong Belwas. It's an eight. Place him adjacent to the monster. So we're in the rear. All right. So that's just a surge. 
So we're now going to do uh, the mountain. He's going to go one, two, three, four to here, and he's going to gate smash with the Thundermore. On a nine, he gains a survival. He's going to go here. Uh, it's his turn. We're going to do uh, a surge on Yara to smash her gate with the beacon shield. Gain a survival. Go to here. She's going to go one, two, three, four, five. And then she's going to dash. One, two, no, one, two, three, four, five. And she gains the survival back. Ilaria. And she will have a look at the monster's AI. One, two, three, four. Finally, we have a trap. Don't think we're going to be able to avoid it. The attacker and all survivors adjacent to the attacker. Wow. All right. Well, I think we could be in some trouble here. Um, we're going to use the whip from Belwas. Let's see if we can get a perfect hit. He doesn't have any speed buffs. He does have an accuracy buff, so he's hitting on fours. Belwas, come on! Yes! Piss off, mighty incantation. Oh, thank fuck for that. That was awful. Um, and I don't know how many hits that was. Was it three? One, two. Uh, I think it was two. I think it was a two in there. Strong Belwas. Uh, all right, well, he's going to struggle to wound this. Strength three. So he's down to minus one strength. And the hunter's whip is strength three. So he's on a two. He needs a crit. No. Nah. So he fails. He's knocked down. Which means that is cancelled. All right. At this point, we probably need to get the trap out of the deck again. So, Ilaria will surge. And she'll drop the trap all the way to the bottom. Don't think we're quite good enough. Can we smash any more gates? Don't think so. All right, we're gonna do the mountain. He's gonna swing with the sword using a surge. It's two hits. Uh, it has to be a first strike. He's getting a lot of bleeding tokens. If he does this, two plus nine is 11, plus seven is 18, plus the regal edge is 20, minus four is 16. That is literally what we needed. It is a wound. It's his 17th wound. That is discarded. He gains a permanent strength and he gains a scar. And he gains a bleeding token. Save him. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. Uh, no, I was 17. I've already done that. Jeepers. Uh, now we can do this one. Uh, wow. Wow. Come on, get a crit, you legend. Get a crit! No, but it's definitely a wound. 
uh, 5 plus 8, 13, 2. Is it a wound? Uh, speed 2. Oh, yeah, he's got Sword Mastery, so he gets plus 1 Strength. Wound, perform Resonate. That's his 18th wound. He has enough now to be devastating on all of his attacks. He now suffers uh, 3 brain damage. 1, 2, 3. Okay, well, there's no way for us to smash those other gates. I don't think. We could potentially get the death blow. No, we can't. All right, well, in this case, let's just proc the trap, I guess. Um, who's got a spear? Doesn't matter. Uh, Yara will just swing with the uh, ink blood bow in the rear. Uh, that's two hits. That's the trap. The attacker is doomed. Uh, the attacker is doomed. Uh, actually, yeah. She probably would have moved to there so that because I read that before. Uh, the attack all survivors adjacent to the attacker suffer three damage to three hit locations and a knockdown. All right, well, um, he performs Crooked Step, so he puts a gate here. It's going to teleport over to here. One, two, three. Perfect. Uh, so he's now going to suffer four damage. So three hit locations, or Yara is, sorry. Four damage to three hit locations, Yara. You can do it. Hands is not good. Waist is good. Waist is also good. One, two, three. Severe injury roll. One severe injury roll on the arms. She's got a re-roll available. She needs it. She needs it. Come on, Yara. Come on, you legend. Come on, Yara. Ten. She's knocked down. All right. This has been an epic fight. Okay, well, we just got that legendary incantation out of play, which is awesome. All right, unfortunately, uh, both of these incantations come into play. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Someone's dying, but at least we don't have that big, big swing up. All right, so at the start of the monster turn, target a random survivor. So, one, two. Oh, uh, yeah, we can just use our thing uh, next round. Randomize it is, oh no, it's the mountain. Uh, so it's speed five. Hitting on sevens. Two hits can manage two hits. Uh, the target and all survivors within three spaces of the target suffer bleed one. Oh my god, can you stop bleeding? <laughs> um, Alright, well, so it's two hits. These are five damage a piece. We'll dodge a hand. That's discarded. Uh, and now he's going to dash. One, two. Just so he gets away from everyone. <laughs> He'll go there. Away from everyone. We don't want to get that far away, mate. Uh, perfect. Perfect. And he's used his dodge and he's used his dash. Alright. 
Let's hope this one doesn't also target the mountain or he's in massive trouble. All right, randomize. It is Strong Belwas. He's going to take these hits. So he's hitting on fives. That's two hits. The two hit locations they are are the body and the waist. These are six damage apiece. However, um, Strong Belwas has um, the lion skin cloak, so that goes down to five. One, two, three, four, five, and he'll dodge the other one. After damage, all survivors within five spaces of the target suffer bash and three damage to the legs. Uh, Yara, one, two, three, she's knocked down already. The mountain, one, two, three, he's knocked down already. Okay, that's just his basic AI cards, incantations. Now he performs a basic action. Awful, awful basic action. We know that it's going to be against Alaria. It's fours hitting on tens. That's no hits. He then performs Crooked Step, and he's going to be all the way down here. All right. That's the end of our turn. And he puts, puts a gate here, and he puts a gate here. There is one, two, three, four, five, six gates on the board. So we don't have to worry about Harvester for the moment. Everyone gets up. Oh, jeepers. This is intense. Um, she didn't have to dodge. He did have to dodge. This is intense. All right. So the first thing I think we need to do is spend a survival with Alaria. Does she gain it back? She doesn't. To do a surge and have a look at our deck. One, two, three, four. The trap is at the top. The trap can get balked. That is awful. All right, well, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and he's going to swing with the Thundermore. He fails to achieve anything. He'll surge for free with the Thundermore. So 13, he smashes the great, gains his survival back. It's going to be placed adjacent to the monster. All right. Strong Bellwass is going to go one, two, three, four to here. And he's going to use bleeding tokens, uh, remove bleeding tokens from the mountain. Uh, and then he's going to surge to smash that. Eight. A smashing success. Boom, boom. All right. So we're going to do Yara. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She's in range right now. Come on, Yara. Do some wounds, you legend. Misses twice. Reroll from bow spec. Two hits. Resonate is suboptimal. A crooked step is also suboptimal. We need some crits. We need some crits. Come on, Yara. This is your moment, mate. This is your moment with the deadly bow. Oh, you absolute fucking legend. Archive any number of gate terrain tiles on the showdown board. We'll archive four. One, two, three, four. Piss off gates. <laughs> Piss off gates. No resonate. Then go again with the celestial sleeves, you legend. Oh, it's another crit. Oh, you fucking, fucking legend. <laughs> oh, all right. I feel much calmer now. I'm 
calm like a fox. Okay, well, at this point, that's her turn done. We can end it if we get rid of the um, thing. So Ilaria's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and she'll use her action. Give me the death blow, one, two, three, four. Give me the death blow. No death blow. Why is there no death blow? You chump. All right, we're gonna do a sweet battle surge from the mountain. He hits twice. Um, and uh, so he's effective strength eight. He's got minus four to that, so he's effective strength four, plus the regal edge is six, and it's sharp, so we're looking for an eight in total. That's a five plus a two, no. He's knocked down, no. Oh, that's all right. Okay, that's the end of our turn. Uh, quaking mood, perform basic action. A random threat in range. Uh, we'll just do this normally next turn. So on a one, two, three, a tier, four, five, six, a tier, seven, eight, nine, a tier. It is one, it is Belwas. Goes to there. Uh, Belwas. Hit on a four plus. Come on, Belwas. Four hits. Damn. Come on, Belwas. Come on, mate. Boot, 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 boot. <laughs> uh, he'll dodge a boot. So he's going to take three damage to the hands. One, two, three. He's going to take three damage to the boot. One, two, three. And he's going to take three damage to the boot. One, two, three. Thanks to the lion skin cloak. That thing's printed money. Crooked step. Boom. Comes all the way down here. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. Makes a gate. Makes a gate. All right. Everyone gets up. Okay, so we're going to start with Ilaria, spending a survival to surge. Does she get her survival back? She does not, but that's okay, because I think this is going to be the last turn. Alright, who do we want to get the killing blow? That's the question, because that person gets pristine, or no, they get Oracle's Eye. Um, the Mountain... The mountain, we definitely don't want to be the person to get it. Damn, the mountain could have become a sculptor then. That's fucking terrible. Um, Yara. Yara's not much good either. Okay, so the only person we really want it to be is Alaria. Is that right? Oracle's Eye? Probably. What weapons have you got, Alaria? You got nothing. It's got to be fist and tooth, mate. Shit. All right. Well, do we have the death blow? We don't. Okay. Well, we're going to do the mountain. He's going to walk to here. And he's going to punch that gate he destroys that gate he's placed adjacent to the monster he's gonna swing twice with sweet battle surge he hits twice uh, we're gonna do this one first he actually gets to decide which one he wants to after he rolls from his sword that's a crit. We'll take that one, thanks. Huh. Uh, that does two wounds. One, two. Magnificent. Thanks to the thing. He does not perform 
persistent step. The Celestial Sleeves to kill him and win the game, win the round. It is a wound. Whew. One, two, thanks to Devastating One. All right, the Mountain. The Mountain gets the job done. Wow, that was an epic fight. I can't believe I drew the Harvester Incantation on the first fucking thing. Oh, it just meant I spent the whole the whole mission chasing fucking gates and bashing gates. That was pretty cool, though. Pretty cool. Uh, all right, well, um, <clears throat> Alaria didn't get a chance to uh, be the one to do the killing blow, but that's A-OK. -okay. So, what do you get out of the death blow? The death blow is awesome, isn't it? Man, oh, I was miles away. One strength, two weapon proficiency levels. Ah, faded blow and pristine. It's not that big a deal. Okay, and manage departing survivors. What do we get from the tyrant? The survivor may choose to gain iridescent hide or oracle's eye. Well, uh, everyone gets a hunt XP. And we will return from showdown and advance the year. The mountain is not going to gain that hunt XP. He's fine. Uh, so he gets to choose either iridescent hide or oracle's eye. He will choose iridescent hide. Because if he chooses Oracle's Eye, he dies. Uh, all survivors, victorious survivors, gain one courage and one understanding. We do already have the arena innovation in play. So, one courage and one understanding for Alaria. Boom. One courage and one understanding for Yara. Perfect, and uh, who was our other person who was in the battle? Uh, Ilaria, the Mountain Yara, and Belwas. One courage and one understanding. Belwas, you legend, mate. Belwas is going to see the truth. So he gains blind. See the truth. He gains an eight on the see the truth. See the truth. Uh, we do not have cannibalized, so he gains a berserker and bitter frenzy. Oh, he just needs Oracle's Eye. Man, I wish he was the one who killed him. Belwas. Who got Witch? Ah, oh, well, we did not. Okay. So that is the end of uh, the showdown with the Tyrant. Everyone's got all their rewards. Uh, so we are returning to the settlement. We must do a timeline event and a story event. The tomb. The tomb. Oof. I am nervous about this. But if it's going to be someone, it'll be Gregor that gets murdered. And that's okay. Well, sorry, the mountain because he's got the thunder maul and that's a bit annoying. And he's not a thingy. All right. It will be this one here and it is rivalry. Oh, no. Two returning survivors randomly. All right, so we'll go from top to bottom. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it is strong Belwas, and then one, two, three. Strong Belwas and Elaria have decided to have a fight. Um, great. So they're going to argue about everything, and let's have a fight. Good work, friends. A four. Randomly choose one of the two survival rivals to gain a gaping chest wound, severe injury. I am actually going to... Hmm, they're both at understanding max already. 
Yeah, one D ten. Um. Yep. Yeah. Cool. All right, we're gonna do a duel, I guess. Excellent, excellent. Rivalry's okay. Let's do our story event. I'm pumped. Rivalry. Uh, and someone ga who was it gained a gaping chest wound? Randomly choose one of the two rivals, one to five. It's Strong Bellwass. He's got a gaping chest wound. Strong Bellwass. How unfortunate. All right. Um, story event. The tomb. Oh, that's awesome. To become gods, you must kill God. The tyrant's voice booms from the throne. It delivers a final edict. Erect a fearsome tomb to celebrate my death. When the deed is done, you will lay me in it. Add tomb part one to next year on the timeline. Cool. Tomb part one. If the settlement's population has no normal survivors, then people of the stars, we gain the ultimate weapon innovation. Yeah, that's a good one, I think. That's the good one. Yeah, ultimate weapon. Boom. Cool. Uh... So next year, we gain a hazmat. Oh, we gain luck tokens. Mad. Okay, well, I know who we're going to hunt this year, and it's a phoenix. Did I do the wrong thing, by the way? I did, I did see the truth for understanding, didn't I? That's actually white secret. And an eight on white secret is actually Leyline Walker, I think. Oh no. Story of the Survivor. Quixotic and Peerless. Okay. So he's not blind. He's got lunacy brain trauma. Doesn't have Bitter Frenzy. Doesn't have Berserker. He's got Quixotic, Peerless. All right, well, this guy should have had um, some other benefits, but I didn't do them, so. <laughs> but we're gonna do them all now, because I forgot to do them before. Okay, first things first. Age on Strong Bellwass. He gains a random fighting art. This should have been done last Lantern year. I would have potentially got some benefits out of this. He will take Harvestman. I'm not even going to bother flipping the others. <laughs> he will take Harvestman. See, this is annoying. I could have been rocking around with Harvestman in that fight. How dumb. Gain three movement. Whenever you are knocked down, gain a minus one movement token. All right, great. Then he's going to roll his awake rolls. So for uh, courage, he gets a six. which I think is reincarnated surname and one permanent strength and a random fighting art. Great. Don't think there's any other way to get Oracle's Eye other than killing the tyrant. So rolling gate, ambidextrous, orator of death, he'll take Orator of Death, maybe. Unless I want to make a second Skleaver, I suppose. That's two-handed. Um, Alright. Orator of Death. Good work, Strong Bellwass. And then his Understanding one. 
He rolls a five, gains a noble surname and one permanent evasion. See, this is annoying, but he survives, so we'll be okay. Noble surname, tremendous. How else can we get Oracle's Eye? I don't think we can get it any other way. Oh, well. Okay, we've also got some other survivors who also gain that. Dickon, do your awake roll. Dickon gets a one. Uh, he'll be doing an intimacy next Lantern Year or last Lantern Year. So we're not going to do that. And understanding. Six, gain a permanent evasion and the noble surname. Great work, Dickon. Have your age roll. That's a fighting art. We will gain Champion's Right, Ruthless, Sword Oath. He will take Champion's Right. Fantastic. And then our last survivor, Doria. Age two, five is gain a permanent strength. Perfect, and then she will do her courage roll. She gains a nine, one permanent accuracy and the unbreakable fighting art. There's a few little things that are a bit glitchy about the uh, this bit. Since the upgrade update, and uh, uh, the evasion one, a one. Gain two endeavors only you can spend. That was last Lantern year. We get nothing. Damn, I would have liked champions right there. She could have potentially become a reaper. We'll use a reroll for that. Cheers. One permanent evasion. Stop it. And champion's right. All right. Cool. Well, I think we'll take Doria out on the hunt. All right, we're gonna spend two endeavors to have a duel be stopped. Oh, I'm gonna spend my re-roll there. Uh, Sandor, congratulations. Your re-roll has been requisitioned for someone else's use. Uh, cool, so we're gonna do our rivalry roll. So this duel, that's a nine, that's great. Uh, the settlement gains the partnership innovation. If neither survivor has the partner ability, both gain it, naming each other as partners. We gain partnership. Cool. I don't think it's actually that impressive for us, but... Free innovation, never going to complain. So, partnership gets us partner when both arrive gain survival up to the survivor limit survivors may only nominate each other for intimacy great so I wonder if we can give partnership a specific survivor yes we can this is a great app I love this app very much strong bell lass we're going to try and uh, heal strong bell lasses um, Uh, who was it? It was Ilaria. Uh, 
Uh, we're going to try and heal Strong Belbas's gaping chest wound. So we're going to use that Crimson Candy innovation. See if we can roll a seven plus. Uh, yep, so strong bell bus. It's a four, he skips the next hunt. He was probably gonna skip it anyway. We'll try it again. Cheers. We've got one endeavor left to spend. Clear that gaping chest wound. Um, I don't think there's many other things we want to do. Korea, we can't do. We can't do cooking. We can't do drums, face painting, forbidden dance, maybe. Uh, yeah, let's do a nightmare training on Belwas, actually, because we're trying to get Grand Weapon. Uh, no, actually, on... Uh, on Ilaria, no, who is Yara, on Yara. Nightmare training on Yara. Spends three survival. One, two, three. That's a three, spend a survival, re-roll. That's a nine, gain a weapon proficiency point. You're guilty. All right. That's the end of another Lantern year. We are about to go hunt ourselves a level 3 Phoenix, friends. And I am excited. Uh, we've got three ageless survivors. And we're going to take those three ageless survivors. And then we'll take someone else, probably Yara, actually, to get her bow specialization. See if we can get her some accuracy. So I look forward to that. It's going to be a great hunt. Um, hopefully, <laughs> we'll manage to survive. So, uh, I will catch you all then. I'm, I'm pumped. Let's do it. Big dental.